all of your favorite songs and probably most of the music you listen to now has one major thing in common, the guitar. The guitar with, has its beautiful melodies and amazing solos are featured in many of, of all the songs that you listen to. I think everyone should be able to play guitar, and today I'm going to teach you how you, should, you can actually play. First, we'll take a look at the extensive history of the guitar, then we'll look at how to play some simple chords, and finally, we'll look at all the benefits of, that come with playing guitar. Let's strum on over and look at the long history of a guitar. While string instruments have existed for a long time throughout human history, the, the, the popularity of them started around the Renaissance period with the lute. While the lute kind of looks like a guitar, it's really not, it doesn't sound like it at all. And that was until the 1600s when, according to Yamaha.com, uh, the instrument called the vihala was invented and it consisted of four double strings. This was the closest relative to the modern day guitar and eventually it just got bigger and added two more strings and became what is the classic, classic guitar. But with the rise of jazz in the 30s, guitars started to pop up in jazz bands and even earn their solo. But because they were quiet compared to the large brass bands, they were often overshadowed. To solve this, in 1936, Char Charlie Charleston slapped a pickup up onto his strings that would take the sound and put it into an amp to amplify his sound so that he can be heard. But the problem with this was the amplifying sound came back into the sound hole and reverberated, causing a feedback loop, and it just didn't sound good. So in, 1940, in the 1940s, many companies set out to create a solid body guitar so that the, the, the hollow hole wouldn't reverberate the sound. In, 19, in 1936, Leo Fender invented the Fender Esquire, the first ever solid body uh, guitar. And the guitar has, the electric guitar has remained relatively the same ever since, going through some adaptations, but it remained mostly the same. Moving away from the boring history, we'll take a look at how we can actually play. But before we start playing, we have to make sure our guitar is in tune. According to Fender.com, from high to low, the guitar tuning goes from, is E, A, D, G, B, and E. E and E being an octave apart and sounding the same note. <clears throat> now that we have our tuning, we need to know how to, uh, how to strum. You can use your finger and just do a sw swooping motion, or you can use a pick and hold, hold it in between your finger and your thumb to play, which creates a louder sound and a harsher but louder sound. But as you can tell, this really doesn't sound that good, and that's because we haven't introduced our left hand. To introduce our left hand, we have to... We have to use our fingers and press down in between what are called the frets, which are these bars. So we press down with some pressure in between the bars to create a different pitch. And this allows us to change notes. And if you string together all your fingers, you can make what's called a chord. For example, a G chord is the highest string, the, the low E, on the third fret, the second lowest string on the second fret, and your pinky on the high, fret, on the high string, creating a G chord. And if you combine other chords like D or like C, you can make basically every pop song ever. But now that while playing guitar is really fun, we need to look at some of the benefits of playing guitar. <clears throat> One of the major benefits is coordination, as playing guitar requires a lot of precise usage of your fingers and your wrists. This helps. This stimulates your. Uh, your fine motor skills and helps you be better coordinated and balanced. Another major major benefit is to your is to your cognitive abilities. Playing the guitar helps with your memory and your court and your concentration, requiring a lot of practice and a lot of dedication. According to Penn to Penn Med Medicine, playing the guitar engages every part of your of your every part every part of your major central nervous system and allows you to create to create to create memories and help improve your cognitive ability playing guitar can also help you relieve stress many studies have shown it has many therapeutic effects and help can help reduce anxiety and stress so not only does guitar help you Mentally, it also helps you physically and with a lot of practice. Guitar is one of the best things to learn and one of the best ways to get into music. 
It's really fun and it's pretty simple to learn. I think everyone can play guitar and I hope that, and today I talked about how all the, today I talked about the large history of guitar. Then we looked up how we can play some simple chords. And finally, we looked at all the benefits of playing guitar. I hope that some of you can go out and pick up, be able to pick up the guitar. And with a lot of practice and dedication, you can play like one of your favorite, favorite guitar artists.